My name is Brindy with The Ribbon Retreat. Today I'll be showing you how to do the, one of the basics of bow making, how to add a clip to a hair bow. What you will need is your made bow. I made this pinwheel bow on the three inch setting of the bow maker. You'll need a lined clip. This is a lined alligator clip, single prong. You can see how to line the clips listed below. You'll need a lighter or a heat sealing tool. Approximately four inches of 3 8 ribbon for the center of the bow and a high temperature hot glue gun. I'm going to start by turning the pinwheel bow over, running a bead of glue on the top of my alligator clip. Pressing firmly on the back of the bow. I'm going to use my lighter and heat seal one end of the ribbon going around the center. And I'm going to put, uh, open the clip and put a little bit of glue on the inside of the clip. Press that down. I'm going to give that just a minute to set up so that when I put my next glue on it won't heat it up so it won't slide off. I'm going to fold my loops down just so I can open the clip easier. I'm going to take this and start wrapping it around the front of the clip. I'm going to use my middle finger to hold that in place and then kind of slide that tail out of the way. Another, put another little dot of glue on the center and pulling tight just wrap that up and press. And you can go ahead and take your scissors Turn that off and heat seal the cut end. And you can take your bow and fluff your loops, shape the bow how you want it. And there is your pinwheel hair bow with a wrapped center and an alligator clip on the back. Another technique I'm going to show you is with the French barrette, I've lined my French barrette. Again, you can find that listed below. We're going to open it and take out the center and just pull it out. So I've got a twisted boutique bow here that I've also made on the bow maker and a knotted center ready to put on. So I'm going to do a line of glue on the French barrette. Turn my bow over and attach that to the back. Again, pressing tight to get the best seal. Okay, on the back of my knot, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue just to hold it in place on the front of the bow. Put my knot on the center of the bow. And while the clip is open, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue. Go ahead and trim off that end and seal any cuts you make. 
And while that's had a chance to dry and set up just a little bit, I'm going to put more glue on. And bring up the piece from the bottom. Go ahead and cut that. Seal that end. You'll start at the end with the clasp and just fit that in there and then you'll just kind of bend and pop that down under, under that little piece. And you can go ahead and close, close your clip, shape your bow back to the way you had it. And there's your finished twisted boutique bow with a knotted center with a French barrette on the back. You can do the same technique on the back of this um, style of bow. Either clip works on either bow.